What's going on you beautiful people here at Budapest and going to check out the city see what's good check out some of the sites try some of the foods and um, just show you what the city looks like and what it feels like and what the vibes like and go from there but first we need to change some money so let me sort that out first and then we'll go do that I think I found some place to change some money by the way that was the tax man <laughs> Uh, you know when they say the tax man comes and gets you? That's that's this guy here. Um, yeah, tax man and customs. We're gonna go across the bridge to the other side over there on the top of the hill. That's gonna be cool. Let's see what the exchange rate is here for Australian dollar. 180? Shit. Australian dollar? 180? What? like 190 everywhere 191 just a quick tip for changing money when you're looking at changing your money when you see no commission when you see that big no commission that just generally means that the commission is built in the rate so they don't charge a commission but they give you a very yeah. shitty rate which covers their yes which their covers their commission and um, and they, they advertise it as no commission so there's no such a thing as no commission it's just different rates some of them charge commission and give you a better rate so when you look at the rate and you're like whoa that looks amazing but actually the reality is after the commission it's you're worse off what you get somewhere else that has a lower rate but charges no commission so yeah so don't fall for that if you see a good rate make sure there is no commission at all and if you see no commission, be warned, it's probably a not a very good rate. Cool. So, sorted the money out right here. I'm going to show you where it's located actually. So, um, amongst the, the walking street, you get all these like very expensive or bad rates um, for changing money. But down this little alley coming here, you know, a place that you wouldn't think that there is a good place to change money you actually realize that it's pretty much the best rate to exchange right there it seems like I'm getting closer now what happened was I, um, I actually took recommendation from the hostel owner um, on where to eat local Hungarian food um, at not crazy prices and it seems like there's not that many tourists over here in this area so yeah better not be because I freaking walked like half an hour to get here from the tourist area and uh, I'm gonna go left over here soon and yeah we'll, we'll see how the food is hopefully it's good and I will show you the experience all right this is it Frisi Papa let's have a look hello let's have a look at the menu and see what we have here hello can I have a look at the menu please the menu Okay, can I have a look before I sit down? Just in case, I don't want to sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, let's have a quick look, see what we got. I mean, the, the grilled chicken breast, does it come big just by itself or is it some other things with it? Nothing else, so just the breast? Yes. And I have to order some extra? Right. Uh, give me some. Just some rice. It's good. Sure. Just rice. See what choice. Yeah, okay. Mashed potato. Maybe just rice. Rice? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So yeah. No, that's fine. Alright, so. It's weird, you know, in Australia, when you order some food, let's say chicken breast, it usually has something that comes with it, like fries or vegetables or something. Here I notice when they like give you chicken breast, it's just chicken breast. Not very creative, is it? Um, and then you just like mix and match with other parts in the menu. You can order like uh, rice or mashed potato, and they separate it out, which is a bit weird. But let's see how the food tastes. Hopefully, it tastes good, and we'll go explore the city. All right. Well, this is it. Uh, one of the cheapest food options around here.
pretty, pretty average chicken. I was expecting some sauce or something. <laughs> Nothing. Perfect. All right, about five and a half euros for that chicken and rice. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's cheap, right? So you can't really expect too much. It wasn't amazing or anything like special. I think I probably would have been able to do a, a little bit better <laughs> job in the kitchen myself. Um, at, even if I was super drunk, I'll probably still do better. I'm gonna head that way and I wanna go that way and see the the parliament house uh, from the top over there. It looks pretty tiring, but uh, yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? That's beautiful and there's nice breeze. <laughs> this guy's taking a shower there. <laughs> It's not a shower, he's going for like diving lessons. He's going scuba diving. Oh man, that's... Holy shit. That guy just went for it. He's like a fucking scuba diving down there. Never done this much exercise, I think in one day uh, and I'm doing this every day pretty much actually not to this intensity I just think I think I'm getting fitter and fitter every day which is good um, and yeah apparently up there is uh, it looks pretty beautiful and some gardens and stuff not really sure what to expect and I think that's the most important thing right no expectations at all this is the president's palace so uh, that's where he stays What's the difference? Back in the day it was kings, now it's presidents, taking all the money. It looks good inside. Damn, I wanna go in now. I'm going to take some photos of the sunset, but you can see these ruins behind me from when the Turks were here, when the Irish were here, where the, look at that. Wow, that's actually, that looks pretty cool. Wow. Doesn't look that old actually. But yeah, it looks pretty pretty impressive. Alright, so right behind me this is Matthias Church. That's the king of um, Hungary. Well, used to be the king of Hungary, not anymore. Poor guy. Um, check this place out. That's beautiful. Just said bye and you know finished up the vlog, but this is too good not to show you. And I think the night view is gonna look pretty good as well. So why not just put that in there? Um, yeah, this is the little bonus. So yeah, enjoy that. All right, this place is super popular now. Like it's uh, the dark time, the sunset time. After sunset, it's like literally so many people. Like I'm just gonna show you how many people taking photos here it's like crazy look at this everyone with the selfie sticks and everything and like full-on taking selfies and pictures and shit you know it's, it's unbelievable look at this unbelievable good done got it all right it does look beautiful though but look how crazy is this amazing Everybody taking photos. Oh, okay, you, you got it. You got it. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, sorry, go on there. <laughs> and then we'll go out. Cool. This is, this is why I don't like big cities and famous cities because this is what you get every time. Literally every time.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we chill in Budapest. We're chilling on the on the poolside. It's very similar to Korea. Um, next to next to the Han Han River. We'll be chilling. Mongolia, Mongolia, Mongolian brothers right here. They'll be chilling and drinking, and you know how it is. Uh, but this reminds me of uh, South Korea, next to the Han River, be drinking, eating, and uh, ordering fucking fried chicken, and just fucking ordering some beers, sitting by the Zen. Hey, cunt! Did you say, yeah, cunt? What do you fucking say? Mongolia. Nice. You having fun? Drinking beer? You, bro? Good stuff, man. GoPro, yes, GoPro. Good stuff, man. Yeah, so it's pretty similar vibes. People just chilling, drinking. Uh, hey, my nigga! So now you're in the vlog now, because I was just, I'm, I'm just making a, rec I'm recording now. So. Oh, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Fuck. Um, so I met these guys earlier, about an hour, half an hour ago. And as I was saying, it's very similar to South Korea. Chilling, drinking, eating, and having fun, right? South Korea? Yeah, very similar. We are, yeah. we are, we are not like this. Okay, except that. <laughs> okay, now. You know? But you know, in, in South Korea, it's very similar. There's a, pool, there's a river, people drinking and eating. It's very similar. Oh. Have you been to South Korea? Nah, not really. You should check it out. I, I just I just go to... Uh, Hungaria. Nah, 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 okay. nah. I just go countries uh, that are Around? next to us. Ah, okay. Yeah, so like... So I, I've been to about 20 countries and... Um, oh, fuck, that's yeah, a lot. Yeah, so I, when I was in South Korea, similar vibes. And do you remember all of that? Yeah, yeah all of it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, because I record everything. <laughs> Almost everything. Do you yeah. watch your own videos on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Depending on, I just edit them out some of them. But anyway, this is it. Uh, let's continue some private conversation. Yeah.